All right, Math 30 2s we're going to look at the second level in probability, odds and probability. Quick review from last lesson. Probability theory deals with the mathematics of chance. The experimental probability of an event A consisting of multiple trials is determined from the formula probability of A equals number of times event A occurs divided by total number of trials. The theoretical probability of event A is determined by the formula total number of outcomes favorable to A divided by total number of outcomes in the sample space. All right, so those are two different ideas of the same thing, experimental and theoretical. In the examples in this lesson, the probabilities used could have been obtained by experiment or by theory. Consider the following example. Four black counters and five white counters are placed in a bag as diagrammed off to the right there. One of the counters is selected at random. State the probability that the counter selected is black. Well, we can see there are four black counters out of a possible nine. How many of the counters are not black? Notice the notation, not black. Well, there are five not black ones out of nine. So complete the statement below. The events black and not black are called complementary events. All right. Complementary events. The sum of the probabilities of the two events is always going to equal one. So the sum of complementary events will be one. Great. Something new today then is odds. Probability of black can be determined by the total number of black counters divided by the total number of counters where S is the sample space. All right, the chance of selecting a black counter is four ninths, so the chance of a non-black is five ninths. It is less likely that a black counter will be selected than a non-black counter. We can express this relationship using odds. We can say that the odds for selecting a black counter is four to five, or the odds against selecting a black counter are five to four. Odds four is often referred to as odds in favor of. Odds are normally expressed in the ratio form four to five, but sometimes can be expressed in fractional form four fifths. We have the following formula for the event A. Odds in favor of A would be the number of outcomes for A, and that's opposed to the number of outcomes against A. Odds against would be the other way around. Number of outcomes against A as opposed to number of outcomes for A, and the probability of A would be number of favorable outcomes of A divided by the total number of outcomes possible. Odds can be considered as a part-part ratio. Very important to remember that. Odds is a part-part ratio. Probability is a part-whole ratio. For the example in the review, determine the odds in favor of a white counter being selected. Well, if you recall, there were five white counters, which happen to be not black. So the part that's favorable is five, as opposed to the part that's not favorable, four. So that's your part part ratio. The odds in favor of a white counter being selected are five to four. The odds against a white counter being selected. So the odds against, there are four not white counters and there are five white counters. So it would be a part part ratio of four to five. Note, even odds are when the odds for and against are equal. The ratio is one to one or sometimes when referred to in percentages, it's written as 50-50. Example two, after suffering a severe heart attack, Dudley's doctor told him that the, he had even odds of making a full recovery. What's the probability that Dudley makes a full recovery? So even odds would mean that his odds are one to one. If we're talking about probability then, probability would be one favorable out of two possible. All right. B, Stephanie's been told that the probability that she will make a full recovery is 0.65. Express in lowest terms the odds in favor of Stephanie making a full recovery. So we're told the probability 
is equal to 0 0.65. If I change that into a fraction, that's 65 over 100. Or in lowest terms, so the odds of 65 over 100, that would be in lowest terms, divide everything by 5, you get 13 out of 20. So our probability is 13 out of 20. What are our odds then? So the odds of her making a full recovery, 13 favorable, 7 not. So her odds would be 13 to 7. And that's what the question is asking for. All right. Odds would equal 13 to 7. That's a part-part ratio. When placing bets on horse races, the chances that each horse will win are often quoted as odds. In a particular five-horse race, the odds against each horse winning are quoted as follows. After looking at this, which horse is favored to win the race? Well, the one that has the best chance of winning would be Free Spirit at 2 to 1. Describe what is meant by the odds 2 to 1 against. Well, a Free Spirit will not win two times for every time they does win once. All right. So odds against, like it says here, if we look at the idea of free spirit, let's look at his probability. Right? Odds against him winning are two, so one favorable out of three total. So that's free spirit's probability of winning. That's the highest probability on there. If I do the probability for all the rest of them, we would say that Willow would have a one in four chance. We would say that Foxtrot would have a 2 in 9. We would say that Glory would have a 1 in 9. And Lucky Joe would have a 1 in 12. So these are their probabilities. And it's easier to see when you change the odds against scenario into a probability scenario. All right. So because it's odds against them winning, we're saying... The second number is favorable. The first number is their odds against. All right. Part C, determine the probabilities of the horses winning the race. So we just did that. All right. We just did that on the previous page. Determine the sum of the probabilities in C. So if we add up all those probabilities from the previous page, we said Free Spirit had a probability of winning one-third of the time. We said Foxtrot had a probability of winning two-ninths of the time. Lucky Joe, one-twelfth. Willow was one-quarter of the time. And Gloria was one-ninth of the time. So if we add these up, what do we get? Oh, if you're not really great at adding fractions, your calculator will do that for you. So let's add these fractions together. All right. Bracket 1 divided by 3. Added 2. 2 divided by 9. Don't no, forget that bracket. Plus we have one twelfth and one quarter and finally one ninth. And if you go math fraction, and give your answers a fraction. So we're adding fractions, we get a sum of one. So this sum is one. Explain what this answer means. It means that someone must win the race. All 
right? One of those five horses will win the race, and the sum of all those has to add up to 100%. Part E, what are the odds in favor of Foxtrot winning the race? So if you look at Foxtrot in the book over there, it had odds against Odds against were at 7 to 2. Therefore, odds in favor should be 2 to 7. Right. Great. That is your assignment. Let's give this a try.